I think we're all fairly confident that we can store enough for 24 to 48 hours, but that won't quite help you with a polar vortex week in the, the Midwest or the Northeast where it's one to two weeks, um, low, lowest solar point of the year, lowest wind point of the year. Uh, I think in the short term, we can fill that with natural gas peak of plants. Um, and then in the long term, I think there's two, we will either end up, this, this might be finally a thing that hydrogen can do. <laughs> uh, but curiously, um, if I can install solar at two cents a kilowatt on the grid, or I can install solar on your roof at five or six cents a kilowatt hour, you know, roughly you get double the amount of solar in the summer as you do in the winter. So because historically solar has been expensive, you design for the summer peak, uh, which is the minimum load in the year and the best solar resource. But at the point where solar cost is now, you design for the winter minimum. So you install twice as much solar, which might make it four cents a kilowatt instead of two cents a kilowatt, but then you've designed for that winter minimum so there is a there is a scenario here where we end up with an amazing abundance of excess energy in the summer because we've designed our renewables around hitting the winter minimum not around hitting the summer peak so if you then think about that it'll be it'll ultimately be a balance in the middle so we'll do this thing called overbuild or oversupply because you'll essentially have a whole bunch of free energy in the summer then a little bit like we have free energy in california at 2 p.m now it's so much electricity at 2 p.m it's free and you'll use some of that to make something like hydrogen even though that's not terribly efficient as a, as a battery hydrogen might be 30 or 40 percent efficient whereas a chemical battery is 90 95 percent efficient but at the free energy in the summer you might you might do some of that so we'll I think you can squint then at the broad nationwide energy flows and you can see that if we overbuild about 20 to 25% of our capacity, that we'll be able to meet that winter minimum, even that one or two week lull far more easily than we can today. <laughs>